Hello and welcome back to the MindTrek.net game server. I am still walking around with the Enterprise E here, just kind of looking for things and whatnot to fix, and thought I'd bring you along with me as I kind of just probe the crap out of the sh out of the ship here and looking for things to to update and whatnot, things that I've missed that I've already altered, and I figure what the hey, you know, here we are in the big cargo complex. Yeah, it also can be used as a storage area for more shuttlecraft. You see these big elevators right here go all the way up to the hangar bay and parking bay above us and then come down through here and we have ourselves a very large, very, very large cargo bay. I remember when I designed this, I can, I can remember when there was nothing in here and I just kind of laid it out and was like, okay, I'll do this, that, and the other thing. And I'm very happy with how it came out overall. I have to admit, I can tell you that even though I see things occasionally that uh, I, I really would like to go back and fix, I know that fixing them would require major modifications, and I don't, I don't want to go do it. Like, I, I don't want to go back and, and, and reposition certain things because really no need to. I mean, it, it, they still work. They work well. And overall, if you don't see them, I ain't going to point them out to you because then you'll like, oh, he needs to fix that. No, actually, I already fixed them. When you have this crawl space going across, this catwalk going across here like this, this corridor, beforehand you, there was no way to hide the material here. In fact, if we go up, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is one of those little little things that I did to uh, to to make the ship unique. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay, here we are. We are in the security section of the primary hall. And this is obviously it's not the same on the port side as it is on the starboard side and therefore when I designed the ship I had to take an account for that now we have here medical where they can bring crew members that are you know not so not so feeling so well and they can bring them in here and and stuff and we just discovered whoops wrong 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 block long block face here this is completely unscripted this material here doesn't should not be here. So what happened is at some point this got modified and probably didn't get updated. And that's kind of alarming because that is that makes me really question now. Really question now if my uh, if my stuff has been uh, messed with. Ah, interesting. Well, anyways, I was saying, this section of the of the emergence of the uh, security section is different than it is on the starboard side, and I had to do some work on the uh, floor in the area in order to hide something. And we come out here. You can see, kind of just we come out, and then this is the I think it's the parking bay. Yep, it's the parking bay. Where's it? The hangar bay. Hangar bay is the parking bay. It is the parking bay. Um, I could put a corridor right here, but again, this Jeffrey's tube goes all the way up, and there was just no way to. And I had corridors here and here, so I decided to go ahead and keep this as a Jeffrey's tube. But as you look here down the center of the ship, you can see obviously that the starboard side and the port side are do not do not line up. Come through here, you have like a little security check-in station, little day brig bear. Come around the corridor here, you can get into here. Come through here, you have a briefing room, and then you have a series of brigs. And then you have uh, a facility, and then another series of brigs and stuff down through here. And these are, you know, these are long-term brig setups, so they're not going anywhere. They're here, they're staying here. Of course, we have another security section down in the primary hall as well, or the secondary hall as well, but it's nowhere near as big as this one. But you have this little narrow corridor right here, and you have interrogation, another interrogation, and then you have like a little office right here, another little office right here. No, they don't have bathrooms. Uh, another little office, another little interrogation room. Then you have this open area here, and there's the turbo lift. On this side, you have the training right here for like hollow suites and stuff, phaser ranges, and another bathroom, and then you have the the lodging for the security personnel right here the um, on duty security personnel because everybody's always on duty and you need you need people on duty and even though they might have quarters on the ship while well, they're on duty and stuff like 
you know duty stations they have to sleep here and then over here you can see the floor drops down and this is a little training area now if we come down here into the parking bay you can see that I had to get a little creative with how I did it and it has to be uniform for the cargo bay so up under here is just dead space but over here it's it's used utilized for this anyways that's just one of the things that you know compromises you have to make when you're doing stuff you just gotta sometimes you gotta hide things and you just gotta deal with it so unless I point it out you would have never noticed the difference in the flooring and the roofing and all that other stuff now when I redesigned this area I, I do believe I mentioned it before but what I'm gonna do now because reasons is that going to affect out here? It will affect out here. Hmm. And it'll probably affect if I break. Yeah, it will. I can't do what I want to do. Darn it! I was gonna put a bunch of these in here. I guess I could put them along the back wall here, like this. This I could do. And there we go. And can we put them here? We can. But there, we can. All right. Here. No, can't do them there. Darn it. But uh, yeah, some more of these little uh, drawers, emergency storage drawers. When I redesigned this whole area here, again, I think I mentioned before in other videos, this was a lot larger. This went further back, and this exact row and stuff was actually in line with over here. So the space between there and here, I moved it forward a bit so that I, was, I, so that I could do A, one thing, extend this island out and add a stairwell that goes all the way down come around this way here all the way down down here beforehand and extends all the way down to here and then all the way down and if we come through this way here we have a little airlock oops um, over here fix this little spacesuit area here and then out around here to the captain's yacht and if we go back the other way whoops little mouse issue there go back around this way we have the little reception area here and again I'm thinking yeah, I can nope darn it gotta get the right gotta get the right block does that affect out here it does not we'll swing around to this side But here's the captain's shot, anyways. And I started sort of kind of working on the captain's shot. I'm not really in, into it. I sort of kind of laid out a, a basic kind of concept for the captain's shot. Um, again, I am absolutely not into this. It, it, shuttles and things are not my thing. Little bathroom right there. And then the flight deck up here. Um, they're just not my thing. I, I just don't care for them. And come down through here, you got the. Or in engine room, and then this would be the egress hatch. And then you go forward here a little bit. You got another little space here, and then a couple of storage units, probably a bathroom, and probably another room for a crew quarter or something like that. But yeah, it's just not my thing. I, I really just don't don't care care that much about shuttles. Um, Shadow Appler, he has a really nice model of this. Again, it may be bigger, maybe smaller. I really haven't pulled it out, and I really don't don't know. But uh, he has a he has a really good model of this that he has mocked up for his uh, luminosity B, and I believe it's actually bigger. And if it is, you know, then it is. And uh, he did a, did a really nice job with the interior and layout and whatnot with it. So I recommend I really recommend that if you want to check out some really interesting and I mean some really cool build concepts. Go check out Shadow Appler's uh, Luminosity B. It is absolutely one of the most detailed builds you would el you'll ever see when it comes to Minecraft starships. The dude just knows what he's doing when it comes to that stuff. Anywho, as we walk through here, I extended this island out. I pushed these walls out this way here, and uh, we have this torpedo probe space here and in retrospect I have actually considered taking this out because it does feed the torpedo launcher and system down below here as you can see but 
and I decided to go ahead and keep it in. I was going to turn this into an EVA locker, and I decided to go ahead and keep this in here because they do need a lot of probes, and there's not a lot of space to store torpedoes in the forward section of the ship, and I'll show you that here in a second. As I extended out this corridor here so that I could uh, enclose this stairwell, I also came along and this is part of this right here on the other side of this wall is that big lift. Added in these emergency survival lockers through here. I figured why not? I mean, it's good space to be used for those and I could use it. Again, on the other side of this is that torpedo launcher or torpedo bay. So we come down here, this is the forward magazine. I don't think we have enough torpedoes, to be honest with you. I, I think the ship is actually hurting for torpedoes. <laughs> So yeah, I can repurpose that area up there if I want to. But right now I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. And if I think about it, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and if I do anything, I'll set that up to be like an EVA locker as well. And that's something I'm really going to have to think about. And then we have, of course, we have our, our beautiful turbo lifts and then Jeffrey's tubes. And again, all this had to be re reworked, if you can see through here, sometimes... Uh, come into an actual room and then it comes up back into the Jeffrey's tubes again. All these Jeffrey's tubes and all three here had to be reworked because I wanted to include a change I wanted to modify the, the forward section of the ship to include an atrium. Basically just a hole in the floor that goes down several decks as you walk around and go, ooh, there's a hole in the floor. Because it was included in one of the uh, one of the new movies, and uh, you know, we uh, we also did it for the Enterprise D and, and, and various places on the D, which actually there was in the uh, the Rick no excuse me the Ed White fire plants there are actual atriums in the Enterprise D. They're not real big, but they're at quarter cross sections. And I think there are three or four uh, three of them, and um, or more actually. I think there might even be more than that. There might be a total of five. I I have it's been a while since I've looked at these plants, and. Um, while we did incorporate those into the Enterprise D, uh, we also want to incorporate them into the Enterprise E because a lot of the the builders from last year and stuff were including these atriums into their builds as well. And we decided, and we also designed it in when I helped um, Shadow Apple set up the deck plans for his Luminosity B. Uh, he also uh, wanted one in his ship, so we included one in his ship. Again, we have a little forward. Uh, you know, bad. You're, you've been a bad person. Go here, and if you need, you know, people maintenance, you can go in there and get it. Uh, and then this is a revision as well. Before this corridor wasn't like this, so this is an all new, new setup. And uh, I, 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 it's just a slight modification because it comes out at an angle here and then comes back around, and we're looking out the windows of the of the ship again. And this is all part of that cleanup process that I did when I redesigned this whole lower section through here and we got again the the H2O heat exchangers and if we go this way here I believe the lion's den yep the lion's den bar and lounge is still here I got asked about this not too long ago like you know literally two minutes ago it is still here the lion's den is still here albeit it has been updated but you know they are still still here. This is one of the icon areas of the ship that uh, everybody, when I mentioned that I was going to rebuild the ship, said you have to leave that. You, ha you can't get rid of that. you got to have that lounge in there. That's, that's one of the things people liked the most was this lion's den. And I have no idea who designed this. All I know is that I came through and I just did some slight modifications so that we have a floor instead of a hole. And I uh, got rid of the carpet. There's still a lot of work that I can do in here, like I can get rid of the pumpkin lighting, which I really want to get rid of. And, uh, you know, it's all over the place. The pumpkin lighting's all over the place. And I could get rid of all the pumpkin lighting and be very happy with it. Now, I don't know if I included a... I thought I included a bathroom in here as well. I may not have. It actually might not be in here. I mean, I can easily go back and retrofit one in but I think there's one down the corridor or something. If not, I will definitely, um, this is something I will have to consider putting a bathroom nearby because, you know, you drink a lot of that fake, you know, synthahol, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta drain the main, 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 main vein, you know, let, let out the pressure, you know, 
gotta be able to, you just can't like, beep, beep, it's, it's gone, I'm happy, and keep on drinking. No, 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 it's gotta be organically removed from the system. <laughs> so yeah, okay, that's something I have to actually retrofit in, is a, uh, is a head. Okay, well, I will think about how to do that in a different video, and we will, actually, let's go back and see what we can figure out. It doesn't have to be big. That's the nice thing about it. And I don't really have to do much to get it done. Um, but if I do, it'll actually alter this section of the ship. And I don't know if I really want to do that or not. Uh, I'm just curious what's behind this wall here. Okay, there's nothing there. Well, let's go ahead and... up oh, hole. That's hole. So, that's a no-go. Okay. Now... This is coffee dispensers, so we don't want to get rid of those. We don't want to get rid of any of these booths. How about right here? Okay, that's a corridor. Now, it, again, I, I could get rid of this booth right here, and I could put it right here, but I don't really want to do that. Do I? No, I don't. So, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what. I will figure it out off, off recording, and I will find a place to put it, and that will make everybody happy. Guess what I just found? I found a place to put it. That makes everybody happy. Except me, because I'm never happy. Alright. Um. Eh. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this will work. Okay, first we'll break all this out. Okay, actually we need, uh, whoops, darn it. Grab that one, put that one back. Pop you, pop you. This is what I mean by dead space. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Uh, yeah, this will work perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our gray wool. And gray wool here, gray wool here. And gray wool there. My bad. All right, then we'll grab our other wall block, our glass nasty block wherever it is there it is and put her up like so there we have the we have the basic shell of the bathroom yay all right now we'll put the floor in and we'll put the vent right there we'll put the sink block right there uh we still see that i don't want to see that don't want to see that. Oh, that's going to be part of the door, so it doesn't really matter because the door is going to go right here. Uh, uh, there's the door. Let's go grab that one real quick. Go back. Yeah, I saw that poking out through there. That's, yeah, can't be avoided. That's, uh, better foliage. I can go back and fix it in the better foliage mod. It's just a setting and whatnot. Okay, so we come in and we need our sink, our drain. Our button. The button. I don't think the button's going to stick to that, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. And since I'm doing that, I might as well just go ahead and do that and put down that, bust that, replace it with cotton. You won't see it, so it's just going to be like, oh, okay, eh. Um, let's go ahead and put you right there, and let's get our our light block get you back, our space pooper, and our light block. Come on. So light block, vent, space pooper, and then the roof. We have ourselves a space bathroom. Yay! Alright, so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to highlight that and come out to right there. Gotta make sure I put the, this block back. Again, that's dead space. It doesn't really matter. It's just bracing, hall bracing, and whatnot. And uh, I will go, and we will go copy. Whoops, wrong command. Copy, flippers, step forward one block, paste. And we have it right there. More dead space behind here. Not a lot of. I, you know, let's take a look back there. Okay, we have. We can go two blocks in, but then it's hull. So there's not much I can do with this space. I could theoretically put a 
ODN access point back here where I could work on like you know little control panels and whatnot to sort of kind of fill out the space that's something I can consider doing but I'm not going to really do do it okay so that's an improvement cannot go wrong with that let's go see if we can find something else to work on we got ourselves a nice little office space right here or temper tantrum room a timeout room uh, I've been triggered I need to go sit in the corner sort of a space let's go along here let's go ahead and go up this Jeffrey's tube check a look in here um, see how it kind of steps up and then kind of works its way around and uh, there's a ladder right here we need access Ooh, it accesses uh, more Jeffrey's tubes okay um, yeah let's do that and let's go to the other side and do that real quick on the other side as well come over here there All right and um, looks like we have some machinery in here looks pretty good let's go back to this Jeffrey's tube here and go up uh, I'm curious now I wonder where this one leads Ooh, it leads to another corridor little workspace here What's that? That's new. <gasps> no, it's that crossover for the for the exotic uh, tanks. Actually, um, uh, so, anyways, we have a bridge that goes across the top of this, right? It's just sort of like a little glass sky bridge sort of a thing. I can tell you that that's not actually supposed to be like that. That's a force field, and that should actually be a solid build here. So this is somebody came through and changed this after I set it up originally. So yeah, that's gonna have to get fixed. Anywho, but uh, this is the uh, this again right here is hull. And um, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, it. It has to be there. I could theoretically alter the hull again and kind of lower this over and bring it up. but And then this would be a solid block instead of this carpeted block. But I'm not going to do that because it's really... It's a major change to the hull that would actually alter the look and appearance of the hull. And I don't want to deal with that. Because these windows, it would actually affect these windows. And I don't want to affect those windows. So that's going to stay carpeted, and all this has to stay carpeted as well because, you know, right down there on the hole. Now, I can raise it all up, theoretically, but then I would be limiting the size of this exotic atmosphere room, and I don't want to do that. I want to keep this room as big as possible. And you can fly th here. It looks like, I can't tell, it does look like that's carp not carpeted. Oh, it is. It's got a floor block to it. Okay, that's fine. And um, I think this is all lighting. Um, this is some really interesting stuff here. Huh. Oh, okay, because it goes over this window. All right, so we have a window here, and then um, on this one we have a that. Actually, I think it's a solid block of uh, you. Come back here. You go there. Okay, so that's a compromise. That's one of those compromises I mentioned earlier where you're just going to have to compromise. you got the light right here and all this other fun stuff. It just It is what it is because there's a window right there on that side. Now, I can make this chamber, this little room, smaller and see what that would look like if I were to do that. Say, uh, actually, let's go ahead and use this block here. It, you know, it, it. I guess I could go all the way up, and then this room here, this doorway here, would actually get shortened down. And you know, it, it's it's just one of those things that you yeah, you're darned if you do, and you're darned if you don't. Now, I guess I could, in theory, also do this. But I don't know how it's gonna look. Hide the hall. It's right out there, that space. Wait, is that glass? Ow, darn it. Don't do that. You 
know if that's no, I can't, I can't do it. I have to leave that because that's part of the uh, part of the window, uh, the the actual hole itself. So I can't actually mod that. So it has. To, I can't change that block. It has to stay white because it's part of the hole. But I can kind of do something like this. Ish. I can live with that. I mean, it's not great. I am not happy with it. Then again, this whole. If I were to rethink this whole area, I would definitely have definitely approach this differently. And in retrospect, you know, it, it was a good idea at the time. It was a good use of space at the time, but I didn't. It didn't occur to me that I could have done things differently because you know, I was so afraid of modding the hall after the uh, whole Voyager fiasco that uh, that um, I learned my lesson not to mess with the hall. And when this ship decided to get, when I decided to remodel this, we were going to build a whole new ship anyway. So it didn't matter if I messed with the hall. I just said, "Hey, look, I'm going to change the hall in this. You know, if it's a major change, I'll." I'll be sure to holler and let everybody know it's a major change, and uh, other than that, you know, don't worry about it. And so far, so good. I can say that uh, the minor changes I've made to the hall have worked out. And granted, a couple of those minor changes included adding an entire layer, an additional layer to two sections of the hall, one in the drive section and one in the primary hall, to give me the uh, space I needed to put floors in. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I, you know, I guess I could have come through here and really changed all this up. And again, I think we discussed this in a previous video where these things here were landing gear originally, and because the ship would separate, and then these things would drop down and be landing gear, and then they could board in, and these would all this whole area here would be cargo and all that other stuff. But then the ship got retrofitted post nemesis and then it doesn't separate anymore because they realized that that was a major major bad idea and design wise it it, it proved to be very fatal to the to the sovereign and other class of ships that could separate it just added a whole new layer of complications that they didn't want to deal with anymore so they they phased it out with the refit post nemesis refit and um, that's my logic and I'm sticking to it anyways now these things here can be uh, atmosphere, or, excuse me, if we step outside of these ships, come on, let me out of here, now these things are heat exchangers. That's what I'm going to make them in the, in the Enterprise, when we do the Enterprise E, these will just be massive heat exchangers. Um, because the heat from the interior part of the ship has to be vented into space, and this, these, these will work just great for doing that. Otherwise, they're planetary sensors, or communication arrays, or cloaking stealth field things, whatever you want to call them. But I'm going to call them heat exchangers because that to me seems like a really good idea. You know, come back through here, we're looking along here. This all looks pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. Got ourselves the dolphin escape pod. Yay! Oh, granted, you can see the top up there, but that doesn't matter because when the escape pod gets jettisoned, that's about to blow up. So it really doesn't matter if you see it, but there's the escape pod. I like the fact that I was able to add that in, by the way. I think that was actually pretty clever of me. I added those in for the Enterprise D, and then we went back and retrofitted them in. I think, uh, yeah, we did. Uh, I did them for the Luminosity B, then um, Shadow Alpha went back through, and he, uh, he even did it even more than that. Let's fly back here real quick, because I want to talk about these things right back here. These, they, they, they're kind of a mystery device. I know what they are now. And here's my logic, and I'm sticking to that, like I said before. These are hydrogen intake vents, otherwise, or they are additional cooling vents for the impulse engines. Say the impulse engines overheat, they can open these vents and basically ex blow out the excess heat through these. They can also be reverse thrusters. This is what they were for if the saucer had to land. You could fire these off and slow the saucer down for landing. And they're also, if you look here, they could also be served as landing pads for the saucer. If the saucer did land on a planet, these would lower and basically be landing pads. Or they can be intake scoops for uh, hydrogen, basically hydrogen collectors. So the ship would fly through like a hydrogen gas giant, and these would lower and they would collect hydrogen. They could be multifunctional. They can be hydrogen collectors. They can be cooling vents. They can be landing skids. They can be anything. But for the for the purposes of moving forward, 
they're hydrogen collectors. That's what I'm going to make them and I'm moving forward. And these dark things here, right here, these can be cooling vents. Or, yeah, they can be cooling vents. Basically, they would open them to vent excess heat coming from the impulse bay, which is way up over there. Now, I would like, given given the rework that Shadow Appler has done with his with uh, with uh, Blue Phobes, I would love to rip out this section here and redo all of this impulse bay on on the Sovereign here or the Enterprise E because I do not like this I I just hate this space and I did I honestly thought I did revise it but I'm looking now and it's pretty clear that I did not update or revise it now granted I did do the walls which are very close to what we see in the luminosity B but they just added so much more detail to them and you got to go over and check out the Luminosity B because it's just a beautiful build. Uh, Shadow Appler and and company did a really nice job with uh, our, him and Blue Phobes updating that Impulse Bay really set it apart. And I, I, I really like it. I, I think the Luminosity B is a beautiful build. Um, okay. I thought there was a... Uh, there it is. Let's see if the pistons work. Okay, they work. M. Heller told me that uh, it's it's not a setting she has done. It's sort of a, you know, when the ships get moved around, sometimes the redstone gets broken. And that's all it is. It's just the redstone got broken, and I just got to go back and shoot it and fix it. So I will get that done because got to have those piston doors. Mm -hmm. Those things are absolute must-haves. Update these while we're here. And let's go ahead and, and go back into this. I really do want to update this this bay. I, I remember now I didn't update it because I was just so frustrated by it and didn't know what to do with it. So, But yeah, I do want to update that bay, pull it all out, redo it. Maybe I could talk to Blue Foes and Shadow Appler and they'll let me uh, borrow ideas from the Luminosity B for it. Because they borrowed enough ideas from me. <laughs> We're constantly swapping ideas. We, it, that's the beautiful thing about working with people that are such talent when it comes to when it comes to updating things. They uh, they all work really well and uh, uh, coming up with ideas and concepts. And it's nice because you feed off each other. One person has an idea, and then somebody else mods, and somebody else, oh yeah, I got an idea, and they mod it, and so forth and so back. And you just keep doing that. And next thing you know, you have completely new builds from completely different. From when you first originally had them and whatnot, so yeah. Let's take a quick tour through the medical complex and call it a day here. And um, here's the you walk in, just like oh hey, this doesn't look like it does on the movie. Well, because that medical bay is actually down in the drive section, because that that had a Jeffrey's tube that was linked to main engineering, if you remember correctly. But uh, yeah, you come in here, you have yourselves a little little you know waiting area I guess and then you have an OR or actually I think that's a uh, treatment and these are ORs yeah these are ORs and then you have a little space in here for the nurses to get cleaned up and kinda kick back I don't have any I guess I could let's go ahead and do that real quick here let's uh let's go ahead and grab one of these that there, put that there, and that there. Thing like this. Grab a light. Interesting. Oh, this is for the. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, above security. This is the. Uh, this room. Yeah, holodeck. Holodeck. Thank you. Holodeck. Yeah, that's a hollow deck. Woohoo! Cool. But you won't see this because this will actually have uh, half slabs and stuff on it, like you can see right there. Uh, I thought this room was actually done, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do this and I'm going to bounce down there and fix that. Yeah. Oh crap, I can't put that there because, yeah, recent stuff. Alright, so, anyways, let's finish our tour of the sick bay here real quick. I added that, so they have that little area there, and they got this little area right here. You have this little crossover again, you have this 
lift it allows you to go from medical one to medical two. There are two medical bays. And then below this is actual security. And then we got all of this through here. Now the little long spaces here for taking care of patients. And then another long room in here to take care of patients. And then we're back to here. And let's go ahead and go down one level. You know, as I do this and I come back through here and I tour these things, I'm like, oh man, I should have added a stairwell that goes from this upper level to this lower level because reasons. And, you know, I, you just, you, I, you come up with these, I come up with these ideas long after I built stuff. And then I gotta go back, can I retrofit it in? And if I were to retrofit it in, retrocon it in, where can I retrocon it in at, you know? And, and then I'm gonna sit here for like an hour trying to figure out, can I put it right here? Can I move it over here? I'm up between this wall. You know, so uh, chalk that one up to the to-do list. Add stairwell down to the lower level here. But this is what this lift is for. Here's the morgue. Cryo chambers in the morgue. Notice how they look different than they do in the survival lockers? Well, because these are for dead people. The other ones are for living people. And then we have two massive ORs. Or autopsy and autopsy, autopsy, because you never know, I mean, if you have to, you know, you gotta dissect the space bugs, and this is where they'd probably do it, and then another, uh, you know, sucks to be you room, you come over here, and this is isolation, it's like ICU isolation, you come to the little airlock right here, and this is the isolation on the port side, and there's another one on the starboard side, you know, I didn't really update the style of these too much. I just kind of left them the way they were. I figure the room looks kind of unique, and yeah, I might come back through and, and revise the overall look of these rooms because I'm not really happy with these blocks at all. They're they they work good for what they're designed for, but they're not designed for this. And they were used as filler blocks because this was designed oh gosh five, six, seven, eight years ago. Come back through here and. We'll zip on out here, and uh, first I wanted to check before I did go and see if this other room here was actually filled in or not. So that's a medical exam office. And then over here, it's this. Okay. So I guess I have to put some machinery in here for this room, because it's definitely not medical exam office because this hollow deck is actually three blocks tall and then on this side over here it's this room right here okay yeah so I just have to build I just have to build some machinery to put in here to fill this up real quick now there are actual believe it or not there's actual machines that I can build and just stick in here but I'm just gonna go ahead and build this real quick and then we'll call it a day Grab my white terracotta, my red, I need my orange, grab the stairs, the half slab, and, and we'll call it for that for right now. Let's not use red, let's use, uh, let's use blue. Then we'll put some orange down here. A little half slab. Actually, the roof is half slabbed. We won't need to be able to do that, will we? That'll work. slabs again through here like so. We'll just go ahead and extend those out. And then put the roof in. There we are. And quick and dirty. And 
and it's done. Just have to label it so everybody knows what it is, and basically it's just a hollow deck. Hollow, yeah, it's already been a medical hall suite systems. And not really the medical hall suite systems, but you know what I mean. I could, theoretically, I could actually take this out and just put another hollow deck in here as well, but I don't think I'll do that. And come up here, don't need it. So this is not medical, this is, uh, this is the, um, go ahead, oh crap, I broke my sign. There we go. This is the security deck hollow suite suit. Oh, forgive my spelling. Systems. There. Hollow room systems. And then we have medical staff. They have a little briefing room here. And this is isolation port side. Now if you remember on the starboard side it had rooms here. On this side it has a big conference room because you know sometimes they gotta talk about you know the best way to deal with a plague. Okay, just orbital strike? Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, it's unanimous. We just orbital strike them. No more plague. Nuclear fire and all. Take care of it. Yeah, good idea. Let's do it. Cool. Anyways, that's that's what that room there is for, you know, life and death stuff, little lounge area right here, a little computer access. Anyways, I do appreciate you taking time to watch again. This is the MindTrek.net game server. If you'd hit that like button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you would also click on that donation button and consider giving us a small donation, it would also be greatly appreciated um, by us all, granted. Uh, M. Heller, uh, it would help M. Heller keep the server up and running, and uh, I distracted myself there. I apologize. And it also helps... Uh, helps us keep these big builds coming and that is something a lot of us enjoy doing or building these big ships and M. Heller makes it possible yeah, so any donations are greatly appreciated because it helps them and by helping M, we help ourselves and we just want to build in our spaceships anyways thanks for watching have a great day bye bye